Mm. I see like a Mayan temple. Oh. But it com water comes out, so it's like a waterfall wow. on the left. Mm -hmm. And I am on the other side of the river, and in front of me, I see, actually, I see unicorns. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's a rainbow behind, uh, like next, in front of me, actually. In front of you, there's a rainbow, okay. Mm -hmm. Your, is it Mayan ruins, or is it Mayan temple that looks like it's still in uh, use? It's more like a ruin. Like a ruin. Mm -hmm. It's like a hidden, like I think it seems like it's still used, but it looks like a ruin. But it's mm. like, yeah. It's hidden in the jungle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. It's more like a, a pyramid. It like, looks like a Mayan temple, but... Pyramid, yeah? Yeah, mm -hmm. like a pyramid style, but more square, like the temp Mayan. Yeah, Mayan type. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Okay, look underneath your feet. What's the ground like? The ground is uh, green, green grass. Green grass. Mm -hmm. The same as the other side where the horses are mm -hmm. eating. Lovely. Unicorns. Yeah. What color are they? White. White. Underneath? Mm. I think they're like three or four or five. Three, four, five. Unicorns. How do they look, the unicorns? Do they look happy there? Yeah. Yeah, they're at peace. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at your feet. What do they look like, your feet? I mean, they're transforming somehow. Really? It's mm -hmm. like they get cleaner while I'm standing there. Mm -hmm. They get cleaner? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do they look like are you? Do you feel like you have a female body or a male body? I feel like I am more of like it's a male body, but it's more like not from I'm not me, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not me. Yeah, and what does it look like, this male? He's actually like almost like a being from the nature, you know, like he's like a an elemental being. Yeah. His feet, what is he wearing on his feet? Nothing. He said they get cleaner. Yeah. So, was it, did, he have, did he have mud on his feet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why do they get cleaner? Um, I mean, it seems like he, like, like, went like a longer way to get there mm -hmm. and when he arrived he just cleansed it just everything just you know, like the energy just lifted up and it just got cleansed i just saw how it just disappears mm, excellent okay yeah so is the place itself that cleanse yeah yeah mm -hmm. okay what do you, can you look on your legs and your body? What are you wearing? I'm actually kind of like how like a goblin kind of goblin, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's like everything is very like the fabrics are very natural colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like like brown and green. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Mm -hmm. What are you wearing? Trousers or? No, it's more like shorts, shorts, like short pants. Yeah, short pants. Uh -huh. And you wearing a shirt or a top? Mm, yeah, I wear like a bag around my like. You have a bag. Uh -huh. Yeah, one like side. Like a satchel kind of thing. Yes, and it's like it's almost like a, it's like a tank top, but it's like the same fabric as the mm. the pants. What color? Brownish, beige. Mm -hmm. beige. More brown. And the satchel, what is it made of? The what? The satchel, the bag. Um, it seems like... I would say leather, but it's not. It looks more like very natural... Uh, natural fiber? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like it, lo it looks more hard. It can also be from a tree, something from yeah. the outside. Maybe from bark. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Lovely. Beautiful. And then look into your bag. See what, what are you carrying in your bag? I have scissors. 
Alright. I have... It's like a, almost like a long necklace. Oh, really? What is it? With beads? No, it's just with ropes around it. Oh, maybe with ropes, okay. It's like, just like, turned around it. Like around one rope, they turned like different colors of ropes. Oh, gorgeous, okay. Mm -hmm. And there are little mirrors on it, like oh, little cute. points. Mirrors, okay. Okay, what else is in your bag? I see there's like a, it's almost like a water spray. Yeah. I'm not sure what it is. Like a little bottle. Yeah, with what you can spray. Mm -hmm. um, Lovely. Mm -hmm. Does it smell? Does it have a smell, the, the liquid inside? Or is yes. it a, yeah. It's, it's very natural, like lavender. It smells like lavender. Oh, wow. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Anything else in your bag? Um, I'm not sure because they show me all of a sudden like a blue fish like swim passing by uh, mm, okay. when I was opening the bag. All right. It's like a very beautiful fish mm -hmm. that is like the inside is if you see the fish from the side, it starts with one color, and then it's like almost like the shape of fire of flames changes in different colors and then the outlines of the fish like almost like a less than a centimeter of the outlines mm -hmm. is blue and then there's like one line over the blue that is just yellow gold kind of oh. the tail is like very like it's like flames but it's blue with yellow and the inside is like black with red of the fish of the the, Look at the body of the fish yeah the yeah. body of the fish yeah. black and red okay black and red like it's black and it's like it's like marmor kind of red stripes mm. but then it gets outside is another yellow line then comes the blue and then comes out of the blue comes when the blue ends there's like a yellow that is like looks like flames also but yeah oh wow the tail is like the like a flame, like a blue flame but yellow. Blue flame, okay. Just swam out of my bag. It just came out of your bag? Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. Can you talk to the blue fish? Can you talk to this colorful fish? Yeah. Can you ask him what he's doing here? Why he jumped out of his bag? Um, he says that He's not just a fish, he's more than that. So he can transform in anything. It's more like a, an, another elemental being. Yes. Like a fairy. Another, yeah. Fairy or elemental being. Uh -huh. So it's you, so I'm guessing like he's your companion or...? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, does he have a name? Okay, if he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't. Mm -hmm. He showed me a lot of other things. What did he show you? Uh, a lot of blue. Everything kind of blue. Oh, blue. Mm -hmm. Like everything that has to do with blue, like waves, mm -hmm. a lot of blue movements. Mm. Maybe his name is Blue. His name is Blue. Okay. okay. <laughs> and um, so, Blue the fish. It's very cool, very cool being. Mm -hmm. um, does he have a message for us today? Would you like to say something? Mm. He just, sh he just shows like he's a companion, like a guide. Mm. Yeah. Mm, that's it. He's just here to, for the journey, basically. Yeah, because I see him traveling, like following. Mm. Okay, great. So now we come back to you. Um, are, you are you wearing any jewelry? Mm. I have like a, a golden beetle. Oh, wow. With, uh, on the 
like the little paws, they are like different colors of stones. Gorgeous. But red and blue. Red and blue. It's not like dark red, it's like more gentle kind of red and blue, more light. Mm -hmm. Golden beetle. Where is it, the golden beetle? It's on my finger. Ah, like a ring? No, it's just like it's like a it's like a jewelry, but it's also alive. You know what it's Oh it's I'm, still alive. Yeah, I'm holding it on my finger. Hmm, cute. Mm -hmm. Also it travels with me. It's also a companion, yeah? Mm -hmm. And there's also a moth, a golden moth. Oh amazing. Oh, I love this like a golden moth. So you're traveling with a lot of, a lot of beings mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. Lots of traveling. They're all your friends, or are they? Would you yes. say they're, 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 yeah, they're friends. Mm -hmm. huh? Yeah, yeah. I'm also their guard, like guardian, guardian, mm -hmm. kind of. Okay, he's the guardian of all the animals. Yes. Like this being is like a guardian, like a protector. Wow. Okay, excellent. So now we go back to the ruins, the Mayan temple. Um, do you know what you're doing here? What, what did you come to do here? Actually, when you said this, there was like these butterfly wings directly in front of my eyes that uh, like just went down like this. Mm -hmm. So the butterflies already had the eyes in the wings. Oh. And then it just showed me the whole, the whole high like the ruin with the water coming down. Mm. Um, it kind of feels like... So it's like we're going into a butterfly. I'm not sure. Yeah, it seems like it's like it's almost like you can only see it uh, when you transform. So, you, so you're in this place that you can only see when you transform. Yeah, you can only like, you cannot be... Uh, you cannot come in if you're not clean mm -hmm. from anything. Yeah. Okay, and why did you come to this place? Uh, it feels, it's, it's like my home. It's your home? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I went on a journey and then I came back. Oh, so you're coming back home. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Where did you go? Um, I see that I was like going to places where there was a lot of water. Ah, uh, what's it? What's it with the water? What did it's like almost traveling. I can see that I travel through water, and mm. because uh, um, I see a lot of like, like they don't look like they're not. I wear whales, but they are whales, but they have a lot of dots on their whole body. Oh wow! Okay. Mm -hmm. And they swim underneath me. Mm. And they actually, they bring me to places. Oh, so you're guided by the whales to go to special places. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they actually like carry me, not really on their back because I sit on something else, but they pull, they don't pull me. I'm just like almost on them and they just bring me to places. Mm -hmm. It's not that I touch them directly, but with their movement, I, I've, I move forward. Yeah, with the currents that they create, you yeah. can follow that current. Okay. And um, why did they take you to these special places? What's your what, what is your work here? What are you doing? Mm -hmm. They show me the, to go to the sun. To go to the sun. Yeah. Show you the way to the sun. Yeah. Mm. Okay. They say that uh, it's like a. I mean, it's kind of like a flat Earth. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Flat Earth, okay. Mm -hmm. It's almost like another, yeah. It's like it's another. Um, I don't know how to call it. It's almost just drifting in another in a universe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Somewhere. Like a magical, magical yeah. universe. Uh -huh. Magical place, definitely. Uh -huh. It's just literally like a big, huge rock that is kind of flat, mm. and. There's a lot of water around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's a lot of water around, okay. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about the water? 
Mm, I'm, it's like almost like I chose to, to be there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because I have a lot of friends everywhere, so I have mm-hmm. to travel through water. But friends are, they are all animals. Oh, okay. They're all, all yeah. animals. Yeah, I don't, I don't see myself a lot with where I am. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. And, uh, okay, so that's very good, very good. Anything else about this scene that you would like to... The scene? No. The scene? No. No, okay. Um, when you say you, 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 your divine te- temple, that, that, that place, your, the ruins is your home, mm-hmm. um, can you tell us a bit more about how you live? Like, do you, do you cook? Do you, how no. do you spend your time? Like, do you, pl- do you play music or do you, do you, um, how do you spend your time in your home? I actually don't need to eat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't really like we can, but I don't need it. Yeah. Okay. Um, I I actually my food is to be surrounded by beautiful things, mm. beautiful flowers that energizes me. Um, the Mayan temple, let's say, it's not where I live inside. It's just I live in this in this in this complex area, forest kind in of. In this forest, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't need to live inside of a house. Like I'm just living with everything. At one with nature. Mm-hmm. Lovely. Okay, beautiful. So we're gonna go to a moment that is important in the life of this magical being. So what is happening? What do you see? So I see like a lot of different moons, but it's dark. Oh, why it's night? Mm, it's kind of night, but it's not like positive night, you know, it's not like a dark day and night thing. Oh, okay. It's mm-hmm. more like times were different in the past, you know, like it was, it became very dark, mm-hmm. like all over for a longer time. And so you said there's lots of moons. Mm-hmm. Are they all in the same phase? Yeah, they're all like full moons. Oh, full, okay. Okay. How do you feel in this place, uh, in the dark with lots of moons? Um, it's weird because I see in the water that the trees don't have leaves. So it's kind of like, it's almost like um, this place was still under construction, kind of being created. It needed more love and more light, obviously, you know, to mm. to start flourishing. Beautiful. So I came there to do that. That's your work, no? Mm-hmm. It's to wake up nature. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. So I actually created life on this 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 rock, almost like a floating rock, Mm. very big one. Yeah, so I, yeah, because I see that the rock is like opening its eyes. So it's like, it is like a living being, you know? Wow, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Why did you choose that rock? I, I, uh, there's a lot of rocks that I, uh, visit. Oh, really? Okay. Mm-hmm. So it's not your only place. You go, you go through space to, to go yeah. to other rocks, yeah? But it's still, everything is my home. Yeah? Beautiful. <laughs> How do you, you said you created life on this rock. How did you do that? Just by being present. Mm-hmm. Like with giving love, by touching the water by showing that I appreciate everything. Mm. Wow. Wow. 
And love give, gives life? Yeah. Yeah, love gives life. Yeah, the, love is like light that brings the, like, you know, that brings light into the darker places. Mm -hmm. And there is more of me, but they are traveling to other places. Oh, so you are, um, you, you could say that your 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 body is divided, or you, or no, no, it's like brothers and sisters. It oh, you like. mean okay, yeah, yeah, brothers and sisters that also do the same work that you do in different places, yeah. Mm. Also on the earth. Mm. And how do they find this work on the earth? Like, uh, is it easy? Uh, here there are a lot, so they cannot do it alone. I see. Mm -hmm. Have you ever worked on Earth? Um, he says it's not work. Yeah. Have you ever brought your magic to Earth? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he says it's not work, of course. Um, okay, beautiful. What do you find? Um, how do you find Earth, actually? Beautiful. Yeah. And humans? Beautiful. Oh. But they were more beautiful. Oh, really? But they will come back to it again. Yeah? Okay. What happened that made them so not so beautiful? Mm, they lost uh, the connection to love and appreciation. Wow. And then the darkness came. So wow. we have to balance it out with our like eternal love, appreciation, mm -hmm. our light. Yeah. Is it hard for you to, to give love and appreciation? No. Mm -hmm. It's our natural us. We smile a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From the heart. Do you know where you guys come from? Home. Yes. Where is home for you guys? Everywhere. Oh, yeah, everywhere. Okay, so you are in this in this uh, this clearing with the moons and stuff. Okay, you bring you waking up the place, bringing love and light everywhere. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else about this scene that you think is important to notice, mm -hmm. or that comes to you? Yeah. We have to allow for everything to fall. You have to allow for everything to fall? Yeah. Mm -hmm. To fall... What do you mean by falling? Because um, things are being rebuilt. Mm. But first it needs to fall. Or like destroy. So how do you feel about the fact that everything has to be taken down and um, first and to be rebuilt? So how do you feel about that? We know this already for a long time. Okay, you're prepared. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Okay, I like this. So now, Amaha. Pardon? Amaha. Amaha. It's your name? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the name of all of us. Ah, right. It's the name of your tribe. So, well, I call it tribe, but it's, it's the name of mm. the magical beings that you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We don't really have names. Okay. Because we call each other in different ways. Oh, how do you it's do frequency. It? Uh -huh. So we don't have names. We. Mm -hmm. 
they say it's like how the dolphins also communicate. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Telepathy, no? Mm -hmm. Frequency, certain sounds. But the human ear, ear cannot hear. Oh, I see. But Amahas, we come from colors. From colors? Mm -hmm. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? So, it's not like a, a, like a language that you can hear, but you can see it through colors. Oh. Like a visual language. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you're able to hear the frequency, you can see the colors. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. What's the advantage of having a language like that? Mm, it's the language that we speak through the whole universe. Mm. It's like a higher form of language. Yeah. It, the advantage is that you can talk with anybody. Because it's frequency. Yeah. So people can feel it. Mm. So we send it. So you don't need translation. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. Wow, very cool. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Is there anything else about this you would like to share? Mm. They said that the Amahas, they were working with the people like once, like like a long time ago, we worked together. Oh. This was an incarnation for me when I was on the earth. Mm. That we were more aligned with each other. Mm -hmm. But it's a long time ago. And now, uh, humans cannot see us anymore. I see. But we're still there. And why I cannot see you anymore? Mm, they don't come with a lot of light, so it it harms us. Yeah. They're not ready yet. They're not ready yet. You said they don't come with a lot of light. Yeah. They their way of like their thoughts is frequency. Mm -hmm. And we feel that. Oh, okay, so you 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 feel you telepathically you can you can feel them or or with frequencies yeah. with frequency mm -hmm. and the colors they send out are like they don't align with us. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Interesting. They don't align. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where are the rest of you people? Said there's some on earth working. We are not uh, people. Yeah, you're not people. Really. Where's the rest of your family beings? You can call us also um, divine angels. Mm -hmm. Angels come in a lot of different shapes and that's why we can transform, so people can connect with us. Um, so something that they can relate to, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we are everywhere. We're in the universe? Yes, we travel through everywhere. So now we're going to leave this scene and we're going to go to another moment that is important in the life of this magical being. What do you see? Mm, fire and a phoenix. Oh. Mm -hmm. So the phoenix brought like fire to the earth. Mm for transformation.
fire are just different beings that all like come together so it's not what you as humans see there are just a lot of different beings coming together mm, okay it's like a dance like a dance mm -hmm. Yeah. People abuse the fire. People abuse the fire. What can we do so people would respect the fire more? To balance it. To balance. How do we balance the fire? With the water, mm -hmm. the earth, the air. Uh, with the other elements. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting. And um, do you know how to work with the fire yourself? No, the fire are just different beings that can do their own... They do their own thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not work. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And these beings... Um, do they have a message for us, the beings from the fire? The message is mostly when it's the word work is being used is what we have to change. Hmm. Because it doesn't exist. It's created by men. Right. We call it aligning. Hmm. I align with my higher self, I align with other beings, mm -hmm. I align with my lower self, I align with the pain, Interesting. I align with the happiness, mm -hmm. work does not exist. Do the beings from the fire, do they choose when they want to come? They're being manipulated. So it's kind of like... They are very kind. That's why they, they're easy to manipulate. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. mm. And they come from such a kind place that they don't know, like, darkness because there is always light. Yeah. So, they don't recognize darkness, so they don't recognize they're being used. Interesting. And they don't recognize that they destroy, they come with good karma. Mm -hmm. All they do is like dance. <laughs> wow. They say that they also brought like light into the darkness for humanity. So when humans started to explore, they were holding the lights to bring light into the darkness. Wow. Dark, like the earth was a dark place. Dark, there was no real sun there. When she was just born, there was only darkness. Really? Wow. And then we came. Did you come from the sun? We don't come from the sun. We no. come from the universe. Okay. From spirit. The sun is our sister. Mm. But all the planets are connected to us. We are all aligned with each other. We came to Earth to bring light and the love so she was able to grow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Many of us. Yeah, many of you came. Also in the waters. 
So the waters is it also beings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The water is alive. The air is alive. The earth is alive. Mm -hmm. All the elements are alive. You call it energy. Yes. How can we learn to respect the fire more? Because you say that humans abuse it, so... We gave fire to create beautiful things. We brought the fire here also to... to heal yourself with the light, mm -hmm. the warmth, mm -hmm. We gave fire so you can create food. Yes. The potential of the fire can only be lived or used in a way if we are being fire ourselves. If we see and recognize the power in the fire, then it means that we know, like, we recognize ourselves. So, meaning, if you look at the fire and you're able to see yourself, we call it alignment. Mm. Okay, that's alignment. Okay. Beautiful. Thank you. Right. So now, if you agree, we're going to leave this scene and we're going to go and visit. We're staying in the light of this magical being. I don't suppose you ever die. Do you die? Mm -mm. You're eternal? Mm -mm. Yeah. The only thing what makes us less strong is darkness. I see. Mm -hmm. Could you die? Could you die from it? Mm -mm. No. We just get very tired. Okay. Mm -hmm. Exhausted. Yeah. It's like the oil when it comes into the ocean. It's like it's, we're not able to breathe. Yeah. So now let's move, we're going to leave this scene and we're going to move forward to another time in the life of this magical being. I see different beings holding a mask in front of their, it's on their, yeah, in front of their face. But the mask is a mirror. Yeah. What kind of being are, beings are they? They're like a different... They come from the sun. Mm. They come from a, like, a place where there is a lot, like it's almost like they have to protect themselves from the light because it's so strong. Okay. Mm -hmm. And But they mirror. Mm -hmm. They reflect. They reflect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then these beings, uh, are you? Is your magical being still there, or no? No. Okay. So these beings, um, what are they made of? It's almost like an army. Oh. An army of beings with uh, masks, like mirrors. Yeah, they wear black but they have red hair, like fire, mm -hmm. and they have like a mask that is like a mirror, a mask. So they come from the sun, but they're not originally from the sun. They just like, they come to places where things are like overheated almost, mm -hmm. <laughs> when it goes too far, you know, when, when where things have gone too far, yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So when they come from the sun, meaning they come from light. They come from light, yeah. And um, what do they come to do in those places? They balance the like the, the heat, the, the everything. They come to balance the heat, yeah. Mm -hmm. Heat, energy-wise, Heat when it comes to anger, mm -hmm. 
but it has emotionally like a, and yes. in depth, yeah. But mostly because of anger. Because mm. they say there's a lot of anger everywhere. Probably. That's why we wear the masks, so they can look at themselves. Interesting. Mm. What's the problem with anger? Anger makes you fall deeper. So you lose the connection to the light. So when you go through a tunnel, when you're angry, you're just being pushed back away from the light. Mm -hmm. Symbolically. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. How can we get rid of anger? To balance it with the water. Mm -hmm. There's too much heat in the body. Mm -hmm. And it burns you out. People are not having burnouts because of working too much. People are having burnouts because they're angry. Angry at life, who they are, mm. where they are. There are different forms of anger. Towards another person, towards yourself, mm -hmm. towards life and the universe. Yeah, right. When you burn out, you give up. And these beings with the uh, masks, like mirrors, do they, are they usually well received by the humans? We don't exist for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you don't interact directly with humans? We don't interact because they cannot see us. For them it seems like we're not there, but we are there. Mm -hmm. So we show ourselves in different situations. How do you show yourself? By bringing another, like, a challenging situation. Mm. So they have to look at themselves. Wow. Wow. But we are this situation. Masked. As situation. We work for God. Mm. To remember who we truly are mm -hmm. and why we are all here for on this planet.